Darn sink. Alright, so yes, I'm restarting Frog Detective on this Tuesday blessed morning. Right? It's blessed, blessed Tuesday morning. And uh, I'm restarting the game and but I I played it with I played it with our oldest daughter and literally played it for like an hour and we both fell asleep. Like we, we crashed. Not because the game was boring, but because it was really late when we played it. And so she wanted me to stream it though a while ago. So here it is. And I attempted to stream it at one point too. I don't know if I actually started the stream or if I just was like, you know what? I'll just wait to see if our oldest wants to play. I don't remember. But anyway though, here we go. So this is literally my first playthrough. Also, I'm aware that Frog Detective was in Jagori because I played through Jagori on stream and it was fantastic. Good time. And also again, it is Tuesday. Oh no, Thursday. It's Thursday. One more day. And what that means is it's Thursday blessed morning. So, hopefully you brush your teeth. But if you didn't, hopefully you have time. If you don't, now, there's always time to take care of your hygiene. The only, uh, like if you're in school or something, hey, find some excuse, some reason to see if you can go to the nurse. And then when you're in the nurse's station, ask the nurse, can I brush my teeth? <laughs> right, the nurse is going to have the supplies for you. Or just tell your teacher, listen, I, listen, I, I really need to go to the nurse. Go to the nurse, ask the nurse for some tooth, toothbrush, toothpaste. She'll provide it or he'll provide it. And there you go, boom. Take care of that stuff, right? Not just for your breath, but well, that. But also, too, because of your health, your dental health. I have a cavity right here and a cavity forming right here. I got to go back to the dentist. I remember it wasn't too long ago where I said, you know, where I went to the dentist. In fact, I had to conclude a stream because I ended up having to go to that appointment that I stated that I did have later on that same day. And this wasn't even a year ago. And I don't even eat sugar like that. But sometimes I do. Like during the Halloween period, I ate too much sugar. I did. I ate too much sugar. And I shouldn't have. And the result, get punished. Now I have another cavity coming in less than a, a year from the last time I went to the dentist. But now I got to, you know, uh, which I have been prepping my finances to prepare for this dentist appointment because I have to get that taken care of because that's my dental bill. Okay, that's very important. That stuff can cause some pain. When I was a kid, I definitely felt my sure pain of dental pain, but not because, like, you know, lacking funds or whatever. I mean, that's but the main reason is because I had a chipped tooth. My front tooth was chipped, and it was huge chipped, like just cut in half pretty much, literally. And, you know, your teeth are alive. They have nerves flowing in them. Either way, though, I'm aware of Frog Detective and Frog Detective being in Chikori. And the character seemed really cool. I didn't know the character. The, I kind of felt like the character came from some other something. Like the character was doing like a... What's that called? Like a surprise guest type thing. You know? Also, like Easter egg type, but games games do this, especially indie games. Indies do indie games do this a lot, right? So, but it's good to see that this is where the character comes from, all right? So, frog detecto. No, but for real, make sure you get some, make sure you brush your teeth, and if you haven't, if you're in school or something, ask the nurse. If you're in, in your workplace or whatever, and you didn't brush your teeth and your breath stinks, buy some gum. Well, be what I don't got money for, for gum. Gum being, I understand. You know, no, I actually, yeah. Well, in that scenario, uh, get punished. Next time, recognize and brush your teeth. That's all. Just make sure you brush your teeth. I'm being serious. This affects all aspects of your life. All right. Just brush your teeth. And it's also incredibly inconsiderate of others to talk to them with unbrushed teeth, unfresh breath. Even when I'm talking to my wife. If I recognize that, you know, I just had a meal or something. And my breath could potentially smell because of what I had. Because, you know, I, I eat some really, like, sh out there foods. Like, I drink apple cider vinegar plain. Stuff like that, you know. Uh, like, like for example, last night. Last night, I had fresh broccoli. All right? Broccoli. Like, actual broccoli. And put it in the bowl. And then some chicken broth. Put it in the bowl. And then some soy sauce. Put it in the bowl. And then microwave it. That was my dinner. So, I'm, I'm very much aware on, you know, the fact that my breath can smell. That's why I personally brush my teeth numerous times a day. It's not saying too. You can do that, right? You know, many people teach, many households teach once a day. Some 
even teach twice a day one in the morning one at night yes great fantastic that second one is better than the first one but here's one that they don't really teach you can brush your teeth as many times as you want there's nothing wrong with that you can brush them in fact i encourage brush them after every meal now i don't brush them after every single meal right but i should i just try to remember like okay you know it's been a minute since i brushed my teeth from earlier today and also I did this 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 let me brush my teeth you know or this event's coming up or i'm going to spend some time with my woman and i'm going to be really close in proximity to her so let me brush my teeth okay i'm serious serious and if you're still you know like extra like, self-conscious or whatever about it gum buy some gum see there are solutions to all these things there's no reason to just sit here and and despair about oh my my breath might stink and no just brush your teeth and gum every everything that the enemy tries to throw at you to make you feel despair there's always a solution to it all right always remember god won't put you in a situation that you can't come out from there's always, a, you know, there's always going to be a way for you to exit. You just have to look for it. Or really want it. And a lot of times, that's why I said really want it. A lot of times, that solution is something that's the last possible thing you'd ever want to do. Oh, let me get rid of the sink. Boom. All right. Frog detecto. Is that everything I want to say? Oh. Ma, ma, ma. All right, yep. Okay, another thing too. This is just real quick, real quick. All right, for my regulars, okay, for the ones who've been watching me for a while. Listen, I really appreciate it. I just know I don't say it enough. All right, but I, I do. I appreciate it. Y'all have stuck with somebody that has, and this is still just the beginning, but y'all have stuck with somebody that has went through the full spectrum of changes. And this is, again, still just the beginning. The reason why I say this is because, you know, how I'm going to be going about this is completely different still. But, you know, if you've been with me for a while, you already know that. You're used to that. But as I said in the very beginning, I just have strayed away from saying this because I just feel like it's prideful. Back then I used to say it, right, but, you know, well, not I feel like I recognize that it is very prideful. But just know this, though. Okay, I will just say this. Lord, forgive me if this still is prideful. But LBU is going to change the game. I promise you. I promise you. That's all I'll say. All right, now let's, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not just referring to fraud. Today. I'm not going to explain this. Hopefully you got it. And if you didn't, that's okay. Just play the waiting game. All right, case one, two, three. Probably the order of the games was like Case one, the haunted island. Yeah, like I literally got like nowhere with our daughter. Like we literally were just, if anything, just just laughing at how funny the game looks. Because the game looks really, oh, got to cover both ears. The game looks really interesting. I like the art style. They, they didn't know back. Because like somebody could be like, wow, this guy, why do I keep taking this off? Come on, I'll be, keep it on. Somebody could be like, wow, this looks really whack. And this looks really, you know, like, ah, who they didn't even try it. Ah, blah, 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 yeah, so, blah, blah, blah. All right, that's an, that's an artistic decision. They did that on purpose. Duh. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, I maxed FOV out. This game gives you the option to, to, you know, scroll your FOV on console, which isn't a surprise because a lot of indie games do do that. That are first person. New game. See, it continues like nowhere. The Haunted Island. I, don't worry. I'll let you know the moment we get to the point where we left off. All right. So, like, literally right now, I don't even remember any of this because we were just laughing. I don't even remember looking at this. <laughs> you were just laughing the whole time. Okay, the phone's ringing. Let me answer the phone. Listen to the music. The music's really good. So, the game appears to be like a first-person point-and-click adventure. I think. Oh, shoot. I gotta read it. Okay, that's fine. Hello. Who is it? It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Oh, that's right. Then, I, then my daughter, she was like, hey, why are you talking like that? <laughs> how's, hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, Salamet the Dabin Kakabali. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. 
I have a case for you. Cool! <laughs> it's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. Look at the picture right there. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? Okay, so this guy hires a... Okay, so, okay. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, he hired... Even though, no. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. Huh, I wonder why. They've been on the island for two weeks. Wow. The ghost is still at large. So... The head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Loster Cop wasn't available. Okay, I remember laughing at that actually when I was saying, well, so, but that, that's actually pretty funny though. Because Loster Cop's the best investigator, because the buildup is implying that it's potentially going to be uh, Detective Frog. Right, but when I was playing this first, I was like, no, look, this is clearly a build-up. Nice try, though. You know, LB definitely sidestepped that one. So I'm asking you, second, second option, the second best investigator, which is still really impressive. I fully understand. Lobster, see, see, even, even, see, this says a lot about Frog Detective, by the way, too. For Frog Detective, just, just like, accept it like that. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. That's really, you know, good stuff, Detective Frog. I like this guy. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So, are you up for it? I don't know. It sounds very scary. I have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. That's all he really needed to hear. Good stuff for all detective. I'll do it. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure, sure thing, sure thing, sure thing. The basics are... There's a sloth who was... Do I need to write this stuff down? There's a sloth who was hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. Ah, ghost detectives or something? Like ghost hunters? Okay, I get it. And it's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why is he doing this? A detective? <laughs> I mean, I get it because it's like it's a detective work. I guess. He's doing it because they know they know ghosts aren't actually the culprit. I mean, they might be because it's a game and this game is silly. But I don't know. But that's the reason why the supervisor is letting the fraud detective do this case in the first place. And why they're taking it even serious is because it's an actual case. But since ghosts happen to be involved with the uh, ghost scientists, they don't think it has anything to do with ghosts. Right. I'm sure police agencies and stuff get calls like this all the time. Why did you yell the haunted house or the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Ah, oh, fair enough. It's time for you to grab the magnifying glass and get going. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Magnophile glass -o. Ah, yes. My trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Yoink. Got your magnifying glass. Okay, the reason why I was doing all that with the stick is because I was drinking with one hand. So that was all coming from the other hand. Look through magnifying glass with right trigger. Time to solve a mystery. Look at this walk. Grace Bronxner. He's selling over there. I wonder when this game first actually came out. I feel like it came out a long time ago, like 2012 or something, 15. Maybe even older, maybe. I don't know. Let me see. Twenty twenty two. Oh. 
Oh, the character is Martin. Larry the Lobster. Or is that a shrimp? The the No Mouse Mouse. Bernie the Bear. Bernstein Bears? Fresh X. The Haunted Ilo. This is the music. Music's good. Okay, now at this point, this is where this is where we stop. So this is all completely and utterly fresh to me. Okay, so here we are. Uh, you know, <laughs> it literally is a first-person point-and-click adventure game. Actually, look, let's look at this guy. What's this in his hand? Is that a seashell? Hi, howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Eh. It's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Really? I mean, obviously ghosts aren't real, like, in the way that people imagine them to be. Now, demons are and stuff like that, right? But, and angels and stuff, obviously. Right? But ghosts? No. In the way people imagine them to be. But if if I were to still like imagine like if I were to believe what they believed, I wouldn't have thought that ghosts couldn't be in the water. That's interesting. Ghosts can't swim. Oh, there you go. How do you know? Spoken like a true detective. Just just straight up said, how do you know? Martin said, "You don't look that happy in there." I like Frog Detective a lot. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Wow, spoken like a detective. He's getting, he literally isn't here to make small talk. He's literally here to like, he's mixing his small talk in with getting down to the case and, and figuring everything out. Wow, I understand why this guy's number two. Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, so tubing? <laughs> tubing is fun. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice. Right? I don't have any idea where to listen to this music. I don't have any idea where to find one though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? Uh, let's ask him about the magnet some more, I guess. Why did you want that ma- Oh wait, not again. If it sweetens the deal, I can give you this big shell in return. I thought it might be magnetic, but it's not. Why do you think a shell was magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? Wait, is this a ghost scientist? I mean, it's kind of looking like he is wearing like a lab coat. I, okay. <laughs> is there anything you need to know? Oh, so, okay, so it didn't repeat it completely, obviously. So it's beneficial to literally do all these in. What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Hmm, maybe two weeks? Whoa! Are your feet wrinkled? Wait, he's been in the water for two weeks? <laughs> and no wonder Fraud Detective's reaction. Whoa! Are your feet wrinkly? Ew. I don't know. You should check! Mm, maybe later. Is there anything you need to know? No, you should check now. Ugh. I mean, I don't know. I don't know like how long it'll take a koala. I don't know. Two weeks? Uh, thanks, koala. I'm pretty sure he's one of the scientists. 
nothing for the moment. I'll come back. Sure thing. Oh, I forgot it was first person. I was like, that's crazy. That's literally a first person point and click. That's what it is. What is this? Yeah, these are definitely the, the lab scientists. Come on now. They're all wearing matching attire too. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're the... Is this going to jump scare me? You can use either trigger to lift the magnifying glass or either paddle. These are called paddles? Bumper. Either trigger or either bumper. Or if you're on PlayStation. L1 or... Oh, I don't know if I'm on PlayStation or not. So I can't say that because it could be binded differently. So never mind. What's this? A man cave or manhole or something? What am I looking at? <laughs> what is that? It, huh? What am I looking at? I can't get any further down. Was he climbing down? Uh, is that? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, these are spooky looking. Oh, the art style of this game reminds me of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. I think I did say that at one point, though. I don't know if I said that to our oldest or when I did attempt to stream the game in the past. Oh, this reminds me of Bug Snacks, kind of. This feature right here. Grumble, 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 grumble. Grumble! Grumbo, 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 grumbo. Cheese puff, cheese puff, cheese puff. Cheese puff, cheese puff, cheese puff. Strawberry, strawberry. That Buck Snacks was a fantastic game. Keep it on. Buck Snacks was a fantastic game. That was a contender for my game of the year in the year it came out. But I played it the year following when it came out. But still, Buck Snacks, listen. Buck Snacks gets LB's seal of approval. I'll have to say that right now. When I was playing through the game, I kept saying, dang it, I should have streamed this. I literally kept saying that to myself because the game was that good. Bug Snacks, good game. LB still of approval. That was not in my top 10 games of all time, but it definitely would have been in my top 10 stream games that I streamed of all time. Dang it. Oh, well. <sighs> Cheese or strawberry, 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 strawberry. I'm telling you, those bug snacks. That, but uh, listen, if you've been slightly intrigued and wanting to play it, play it, play it, play it, play it, play it. Bug snacks is so good. Fresh X. Howdy. Hello. <laughs> Are you uh? Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you Detex? Yes. Nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, Detex. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two days. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a, good, a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, Detex. Dang, he said sorry to question you today off, just like in Chikori, when like, listen, Frog Detective really understands the value of taking a day off. Good stuff. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth, of course. Dr. T oh my goodness. Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth. Wait, did he add the trademark in there? I, I don't think it... Wait, was it in it when Fresh X said it? I get a shipment in here every three days, so I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do... Do 
Do you have teeth? Uh, well, I could give you my tube, but I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. Okay, listen. Remember, I I, I didn't know this conversation was ever going to ever happen. Remember, I didn't have no idea. I was just trying to brush y'all's teeth because that's very important, lol. I'll think about it. Oh, but I, LB also has some pretty, pretty sharp teeth, too. Excluding these cavities. I'll think about it. But that's the reason why it's important to take care of yourself. No, I'm serious. Can I ask you some more questions? Take it away, D-Tech. Take it away. I'll come back later with some questions. See ya, D-Tech. That guy's relaxing, Daxon. Tech. Did I talk to this guy? Hold on, I want to check this before I check this guy. What's going on with this? Yum. But it's not mine. Alright, fine. I guess I gotta talk to this guy then for that, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. Hey! You're that detective, right? <laughs> the one that monkey keeps going on about. That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest. I thought I was a secret agent job. I thought it was. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? Once that only one that only smart people could figure out, like me. It still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh, oh no, you're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? So now this, this bear is going to be on guard now. What else do you want to know? Oh, this hole, please. Yeah, tell me about this hole. What do you know about the noise? Oh, that's what this this noise is. That's this like I don't know if you hear it. It's like it sounds like air or something or like I don't know scary stuff. It's coming from the hole, I guess. What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? Maybe that's why the person thinks it's haunted or something, or maybe that's where they're coming from. I don't know if there are ghosts. I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs. I'm just letting you know, but. It does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call. But only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie. I'm not a secret agent. He sees still on guard. Uh-huh. What else do you want to know? You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Oh. Uh, he's thinking really hard, probably. Because he sees it as a test, probably. S secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example... You've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. He thinks he's one. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie winks. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass? Oh, there's nothing I want more. Interesting. Wait, is that going to be relevant? Why did you want a magnifying glass again? What do you mean, why? Everyone knows that the magnifying glass is the coolest of the secret agent items. How could you, a secret agent, not know that? What if he actually is a secret agent and it takes to like the third game till when like we get into that part of like the storyline or like deep lore? Hmm. Listen, fine, fine. You're not a secret agent, whatever. What else do you want to know? I'll come back with some questions later. Suit yourself. 
So does that mean as we uncover information, we have to return back to these characters and they'll unlock new dialogue for us to talk about to further the story, maybe? That's interesting. Larry the Shrimp. I think it's a shrimp. Hi, it's me, Larry. I did not do that. I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't. I, Larry, did not make those spooky noises. That's like more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I don't like being accused like this. He's cutting. He's cutting off for all every time. I'm not a. Oh, you're not. He did it again. That's such a relief. Can I? Are you going to ask me questions? Well, yeah. Ask me them. The questions, I mean. <laughs> what can you tell me about the? Firstly, I'm not. I'm not the one making them. Yep. <laughs> but I know where they're coming from. See, he's angel. What? <laughs> they're coming from the cave in the forest. So they're not coming from the hole. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird because I do listen. Maybe you, I mean, I am a really good listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of us is safe. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just the standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me them. The questions, I mean. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Can you list the ingredients for the toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta? Thanks. Ask me them the questions. Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need toothpaste. Some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Okay, thanks. So, when I get all the materials that I need, I come back to Larry the Shrimp. The music. I come back to Larry the Shrimp, and then we move on. So, like I said, it's talk to the characters. So, let's go back to this guy. Can I sprint? Nope. I can't. That's fine. Or oh, no, jump. Good. Well, I say good. That's not a good or bad thing. But it's just, it just helps the game feel more focused I, I guess because I'm, I'm on lot when I played bug snack since you could jump I was like going all I feel like I was going out of bounds I had to restart the game so many times because I was just free roaming and just having a fun time the game is just fun all right so let's see if we can buy this guy's toothpaste back for questions take it away d-tech oh wait let me just see if I can just walk up and take it see ya d-tech I like I like that guy Hey, I guess I can't. All right. Yeah, at least. Maybe if I've talked to all the characters that have those things. So one was wool. Did he say something about wool? I don't think. I don't think he did. This is the one we're supposed to go to. There's all these other characters. There's more than just wool. There's this character right here. But this character is clearly trying to get my attention. And I feel like the char the game started me out with me facing this character. So I almost thought that, that character last, lol. <laughs> oh, magnet. 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 We take this magnet to that guy. This might come in handy. Just take the random magnet. Got a magno. And my inventory's on the top right, but we can't see that because OB's in the way. So magnet goes to this guy. Koala. Koala. Is it just actually what the name is? Koala? No, his name is Koala. Always with the questioning. Is there anything you need to know? Got the magnet. Hey, you want it? 
Oh yeah, so I gotta go back and click it. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Remember, he wanted a magnet so he could attach it to a boat. Are you for, so he can move fast. Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. Got a shell. So this is a give and take type of game, huh? What's the purpose of the mag of the magnifying glass? Maybe I haven't got there yet. Maybe it's just like there's no purpose at all. Well, this guy has a magnifying glass up actually. Is that magnifying glass? All right, this is probably where we'll uncover the use of the magnifying glass. Let's talk to this person. Is that, is that a king? I mean, there's. I'm gonna just be real. Look at this. Buck snacks. Celery, 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 celery. <laughs> if you play buck snacks, then you would understand what I'm doing here. It wouldn't be so strange. <laughs> celery, 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 celery. Buck snacks was a fantastic game. It just was, man. That was such a good game. Gummy worm, gummy, gummy, gummy worm. <laughs> Buck snacks was good, man. Too bad I don't generally replay games personally, unless like I really, 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 really feel a drive to. Whoa. Oh, look, another one of these things. Science line, don't go in. Like police tape. <laughs> I get it. Because it's like, it's just police tape. And this is just a science line. It's like, what does that even mean, police tape? I get it. I see what you did there. All right, let's, let's see if we can uncover the use of our magnifying glass. Whoa. Orbit. Ah. Stop right there. Why? my shells don't step on my shells oh i won't we can't be sure of that i guess not they're very fragile and small aren't we all i guess ah, please be careful okay are you still going to stand like that yeah why I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I am protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. So I got to upgrade it? Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful. <laughs> Do you know anything about that cave? Huh? What? No. I'm not even sure it's a cave. Just looks like a pile of rocks, if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it potato. I do. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, fair enough. Ask me questions, just be careful. Na, 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 na. Why don't you get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha! You fool! Hey! Sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. 
If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass will be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Mm. Ah, just ask me questions. Na -na. I have a big shell if you want it. Oh, I do actually. I forgot all about that. It's from the koala. What? How? Eh, it's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells. But I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Ah, here's the magnifying glass. Got a magnifying glass hole. Now I have a new magnifying glass. This is a new one, or is this just my same one? Well, where's the tiny shells at? This is my same one. And this... Is that a cave? I mean, I guess it technically is. What defines a cave? Because to me, I feel like if it's a cave... This just looks like a, a big old hollow log that had rocks stuffed in it. But I guess it is a cave? Because I guess it goes down? I mean, that was very deliberately placed there, too, by the way. Wait. Oh, that was lightning. I just also saw, saw, like, the white outline appear. Snake. Boy, I'm a snake -o. Uh, I don't want to talk to that king person right now. What in the world? Uh, is that what the magnifying glass is for? <laughs> rib, 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 ribs. Rib. Buck snacks. I think one person did all the voices for all the buck snacks. I can't remember. Wait, 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 wait. By me? Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby Doo. <laughs> Who took my sunglasses? Give back. I'm pretty sure this is all still a part of the... I mean, this is a detective game. I mean, it actually really is a detective game, technically. By all accounts, this is a detective game. Notes. Some hole noises. Need some... Toma? Tomatoes. <laughs> some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. <laughs> and didn't even spell that correctly. <laughs> Saying that I'm not qualified. Can you get back on the boat? Oh. This is fun! But I gotta get back to work. Mm. Uh, I don't wanna talk to this person. Let me check his notes. Hmm. Maybe a man in a suit. Wow. That's his own personal notes from the from his own personal investigation. What's start look like? Save and quit. A B. Huh. Magnifying. Are you happy with the magnifying glass? Look at that overhead. He doing air squats? Or was he sitting down on a rock? What's going on with this guy? Oh, he is sitting on it. <laughs> Music is good. 
Looking for secrets. What are these? Coconuts or bombs or what? What what is this? Let's check this. Mm. Oh, the same thing. Hmm. I should have listened to the sign. Boom, boom. Fine, I'll talk to this guy. Is this a monkey? A mon monkey. Wait, what did they say about the monkey in the story? The guy on the phone said something. Our supervisor said something about the monkey. Ah, oh, I don't remember. I think the monkey is the one who... This is the person that owns the island? Or is this the head scientist? I don't know. Hmm. Nah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. So he's famous. Fraud detective. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you fit wait, is this actually the first game in this series? Or is this a spiritual successor to something? When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in Witch Town, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? So Fraud Detective must literally do like some strange mysteries. Mysteries that like a normal detective just wouldn't be able to, to, to solve because they just require a different, a different type of thinking. Oh, you've been following my blog posts? Oh, that's cool. Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49 I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Oh, of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49 Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Okay, of course. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Uh, questions? Yes, yes. What would you like to know? May I ask who the resident of this island is? It must be the king. He's the king of the island, maybe. Ah, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't r catch him there. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay. Who should I talk to second? Hmm. Larry the tall one. He always wants to meet new people. Although, I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out. Thanks. What would you like to know? I think I'll come back later after some investigation. Oh, see you around. Huge fan. All right, let's see what else it needs again. Larry. What questions? Ask me them. The questions I mean. Ingredients, ingredients, ingredients. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Some wool. A chunk of pure gold and pasta. Ah, thanks. Okay, I know there's a plate of pasta over there. I can go grab that. Na, na, na. Yoink. Wait, isn't this pasta? I guess it's not. It looks like it. I'm pretty sure it is. I guess I just can't do it yet. Is this? Okay, so he said his name was Martin. This has to be the resident. He's not wearing a thing, and he's like right next to the bed. And where is the bed at? Generally in the place where somebody resides. That's why it's called their resident. That's why they're called a resident. Because they are the person living in this place of residence. Law. No, that's why it's called resident. <laughs> it's always good to take a rest. Yes, Frog Detective, it is. Uh, man, I don't know. This guy just strikes me as like stuck up for some reason. Oh, I guess it's just because he has a crown on his head. 
I mean, nothing's wrong wearing a crown. I'm a king myself, right? But, you know, I don't know. There just can't be two kings on this island, is what I'm trying to say. This is his island. He's the king of the island. I love him have it. I want it. Oh, a broom. Got a broom. We just took it. It's probably Martin's. We just took it. On an island? I wonder how all these guys became to be ghost scientists. If they're unqualified, like what were they thinking and wanting to become ghost scientists? This, for some reason, strikes me as probably the only one that actually can do his job. <laughs> oh, and Mystery Monkey, I guess. Maybe this one, too. Not this one. Oh, definitely not this one. There's just very... Oh, they're like a ragtag. That's what it is. They're like an independent indie type uh, ghost hunters. It's not like an actual organization or something. You know, I actually watched the movie the other day. It was Yule Log, Adult Swim. It's kind of like that, something like that. I understand. Or they were just, they had some ulterior, or ulterior motive. Each individual one, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how long this game is, any game. I don't know. I just really don't want to talk to this guy right now. <laughs> what is he? Is a raccoon? Um, so it's just this rat or mouse, excuse me, and lamb, sheep, lamb, sheep, lamb. I think it's a lamb. Oh, and then that guy. Yep. Hmm. Who's this supposed to be? Oh, koala. By me? Oh, I get it. Koala is saying, this was made by me. Koala. And koala drew a picture of koala. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever in my entire life seen somebody do it like that in regards to put by me and draw a picture of themselves like that. Hmm. Even as a kid. Nope. Never ever in my life. Ever. What the heck? I missed this one. Stealth. Do I get an achievement? Do I unlock an achievement? Identifying all the creatures with magnifying glass. I feel like if I missed this one up here... And I feel like there are others that I've missed. Hmm. I'll just tell. Probably like might be one of these cracks. The strong magnifying strafe game. I'm not sure I hit this one with the magnifying glass. I think I did. Yep, I did. I hit that one with the magnifying glass. I think we're good. I think that's all of them. If I find one more, then that means there could be another one, by the way. That's what that means. And we hear all the starfish. I think we're good. Let's see. Wait, what is this? Ah, uh, I thought I saw something up there. Hmm. 
Well, I got them all. I got that one too, I remember. Very good, LB. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, wait, that's just a flower. Do I? I'm, I'm always going to go ahead and conclude here. I'm going to conclude here. Great progress has been made, but LB is growing tired now. Lol. I got to take care of some other things, too. Lol. Watch my vods. I appreciate it. Thank you.